Russia's new Terminator machines have been spotted near the Ukraine border. The Drive reports that some of Russia's brand new BMPT-72 armored fighting vehicles have been spotted near the Ukrainian border at the start of the Russian invasion. Nicknamed the Terminator 2, the BMPT-72 is designed to support tanks, not carry troops. For this purpose, it features four anti-tank missiles and two automatic cannons. One of the cannons fires high explosive rounds that have a wider kill zone, while the other fires armor-piercing rounds that can penetrate thin armor and walls. The original model also featured two frontal grenade launchers, which can unleash a deadly storm of shrapnel against infantry at any range. Most of the new models do not have such launchers, although some new models have been photographed with them. The BMPT-72 is designed to protect heavy tanks in urban terrain. Its fast-moving turret can lift its machine guns at high angles to hit targets high up in buildings. The idea is that the BMPT-72 would suppress infantry targets like Javelin missile teams, while the tanks use their big guns to blow away walls and engage other tanks. The number of BMPT-72s in the Russian arsenal is a tightly guarded secret, but some analysts think Russia currently only has around a dozen of them. This would explain why none have been spotted inside Ukraine so far. The war in Ukraine has been very costly for Russia, with a lot of Russian APCs and tanks having been destroyed, abandoned, or left behind after getting stuck in thick mud. On Thursday, March 24th, a Russian landing ship blew up, damaging two other Russian vessels in the occupied Ukrainian port city of Berdyansk. The Ukrainian military posted footage of the ship blowing up and said the ship had been hit by its forces. Details of what caused the explosion and fire on board the ship are unclear. One of Ukraine's most effective weapons is its arsenal of Turkish-made Bayraktar drones. The Ukrainian army has been successful in using these drones to infiltrate the airspace above invading Russian convoys and dropping bombs on their supply trucks and armored vehicles. The Wall Street Journal reports that the Ukrainian Air Force is crediting its new Turkish-made drones with destroying a large number of Russian weapon systems with guided bombs. The chief commander of Ukraine's armed forces, Valery Zaluzhny, posted a video of such a drone strike turning multiple Russian trucks into a fireball, adding the comment, Welcome to hell. The video was posted on Facebook with text that says the Bayraktar drone struck a Russian convoy near the city of Malin, around 97 kilometers northwest of the Ukrainian capital of Kyiv. A few such videos show multiple bombs hitting Russian weapon systems in wooded areas and in convoys. The drones seem to be very effective at exploding long Russian military convoys stuck in traffic jams. These stuck convoys present the drones with the opportunity to target an explosive-laden target like a supply truck. Once the truck and its explosives are hit, the massive explosion often blows up multiple surrounding vehicles and troops. Russian troops have been seen deploying anti-aircraft missiles effectively against such drones. Ukraine began receiving shipments of the drones in 2019. The drone's primary function is to use its high-powered cameras to view the battlefield and laser-correct artillery strikes. It can stay aloft for 24 hours, flying at a maximum altitude of 7.6 kilometers. A remote pilot can fly the drone from as far away as 300 kilometers in good weather. Ukraine's armed forces also seem to be destroying a lot of Russian tanks with the expensive, shoulder-fired missile systems that the West has given to Ukraine. Reuters reports that U.S. President Joe Biden's recent gift to Ukraine of $350 million U.S. million worth of U.S. weapons brings the total U.S. assistance package to $1 billion over just the last year. The donation includes a large number of Javelin anti-tank weapons. The Javelin system has a day sight as well as an infrared sight for targeting armored vehicles at night. The missile's computer locks onto the target. A small charge blasts it out of the tube before the powerful rocket engine ignites. Here, the folded fins pop out to steer the weapon to the target. The weapon can be fired directly at buildings, or the operator can set it up to top attack mode, in which case the missile flies up to 150 meters before slamming down on a tank from above. Once it gets close to the target, the missile's first warhead detonates to activate the tank's reactive armor. After the reactive armor explodes, the main warhead detonates against the tank's thin top armor, where the shaped charge of the warhead punches a hole through the armor, causing the tank's ammunition to detonate. The Javelin is a fire-and-forget system that can destroy tanks up to 2 kilometers away. It can defeat armor that's up to 80 centimeters thick. The launcher can be reloaded, and each missile costs either $80,000 or $175,000, depending on who you ask. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.